Right, let's see if I can help you with um, light burn. So here's light burn, I'll open that. That's light burn. You can just press import. I tend to just kind of minimize it a little bit. And then open up my pictures. I have a folder there where I put stuff. And I actually, I'm not sure if I've imported the picture that I want to use yet, but take a look yeah this one drag and drop that over there and you can resize that however you want that's an elephant eye the main thing is that when you want to burn this if you just burn it as it is it'll be kind of muddy so if you look down here there's shape properties Click on shape properties. You might want to change a couple of these. So I'm going to use my uh, marker because it's a uh, very small button. I've got big fingers. So gamma, where is it? I'm dropping the gamma to 0.65. 0.65. Contrast, I'm bringing up to five brightness up to two enhanced radius to 20 and enhanced amount to 200 Now, if you look at the picture, it looks a lot more vivid. And I should have actually put two pictures in and just changed one. So let's just bring up the original one again, just to show you what it looks like originally in comparison. So that's what they look like. This one, if you burn it like that, would be really kind of muddy. This will be much more vivid on the wood when you burn it. And that's all done on light burn. Hope that helps.